It could be a swap. It could. Because it works well against Renekton as well. And like, Aatrox could just tank the with first few lanes. With, here's the issue, though. Yeah. You have a Sejuani in the jungle. Uh, Wherever yeah. this vein is, she is getting camped so hard. That's true. And personally, I think you'd rather be in the short lane because there's a little bit more safety in mid. Uh -huh. There's multiple angles to get ganked. So either way, we're going to load on to the rift. It's a, a monkey. Bird. It's a bird. Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboozle. I love how confident you are. It's a monkey. <laughs> oh, that's a bird, Riku. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm laughing at myself right now. I'm so confident, too. Oh, I forget what happened. Okay, we're starting the game now. This is going to be an amazing game. I can tell. <laughs> oh, boy. The Orin has seeked uh, refuge down in the bot lane as a support. <laughs> I love the mind games. Okay. Oh, assassin running the dragon's eyes. Oh, he going help? Yeah, that's the way you go. Okay, this works. Well, he. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, working. solo lane vein. Yeah, you kind of have to go but hail of blades. Yeah, it's it's perfect actually because you have the tumble to dodge all of these skill shots from Chase, so it will be a little bit difficult for the Zoe, um, to land all of the key skill shots. So your only hope is to try to get a bubble in. And that's that's your key to get everything in. Um, hmm. Meanwhile, standard four. It's standard for alpha, uh, rather for three Z and rock at the top side. Yeah, this is Assassin's first game on on Vayne in competitive. <laughs> I don't think he was ready for this. I do not think this was the plan he was hoping for. Oh boy. Because yeah, because we've seen a lot of. I mean, it's common. Um. Mid and top to have the like the eighty carry, eighty carry flex, but at the same time, I wonder how this goes for assassin. <laughs> we'll keep tabs of them. Yeah, of course, that's well. where. Man, I was like, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll take a look at like you know uh, the eighty carries. Behold, assassin wants to be his own eighty carry. That's kind of his new plan. <laughs> I don't need a misfortune. I am my own eighty carry. Uh huh. No need for. Mages. Your only your only real hard CC though is this Gragas. That's your that's your hope for with the side of Alpha. I want to see where uh, Hollow really needs to strike at these lanes early. True. Uh, try and shut down that vein. But imagine though how fast the stun stacks from Rom is going to hit because you do have two ranged on your side. So once it starts, you get a tag on someone. And it's just going to apply through, power through. You have at least, at least the auto, uh, the auto attack reset from the Q, from a misfortune. But you add in uh, assassin in the board, it's gonna be very, very fast. A lot of damage on the side of Alpha Esports. So I am absolutely excited to see them in action later because this is an action-packed fight, fight Alpha team, Alpha squad. You know, the, the team that they assembled for themselves. Um, HKA could is the same thing, especially if I see uh, Renekton. But it will take a while for them to scale with the uh, with Chase in Eminem as well for later to the mid game phase. But now we see uh, already the result of the AD carry matchup between the Mage. All right, Hollow. He's he's still there. He's still there. Ah, uh, pings are there. Oh, is he the sneakiest? Oh, behold, the Sejuani. She was there all along. It was a ruse, you could say. J Catchong really wants the scuttle. Oh, he doesn't get it. That's tragic. Uh, Chase decides not to go aggressive. Uh, he was on the other side of the wall, so not able to do a whole lot. As uh, Yeah, Catchong's going to want that flashback. Was Assassin tagged by the bubble? That's why he cleansed? Uh, yeah, he had okay. to. The only time he'll use cleanse would be for that bubble. So Okay. Just... Trying to double check. At <laughs> least Catron gets, you know, the other scuttle. That's true. He gets that at least. He does. Uh, but again, the matchup is very apparent uh, uh, for Chase. Being behind, didn't see us a little bit. Rock. Whoa, hold up, oh, Freezy. Oh, hold on, Rock. Oh. oh, he slices him in half. Rock picks up the solo kill, and unfortunately... This is a reoccurring trend when it comes to 3Z in the solo lanes. Um, he's just getting out dueled mm -hmm. like, in almost every match we have seen. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's not 
at least it's not one of those cases on where you get doved upon as a pre-level 3 Renekton, level 1, level 2. I want to see this again. So he was asking for it. He was right there. And easy combo, easy attacks, flash. Oh, mm. the late. Yeah, the auto fall follows oh. through. That's tragic. Very tragic indeed. Um, but hey, Alpha Esports getting first blood. <laughs> Meanwhile, Assassin's actually doing well in this lane. That was kind <laughs> of I didn't know how this was going to go. I've never seen the Vayne versus Zoe matchup. I felt like, yeah, Cleanse's Vayne, once she gets bubbled, I think she's dead. But uh, the tumble, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we might be vein spotting today, yeah. Riku. We might. It depends on what kind of vein we're gonna see. Ah, uh, that's true. We might see, you know, the rare solo queue, godlike vein, uh -huh. or we might see like solo queue, but my elo vein, <laughs> where it's just tumble into the fights and then it's like oh, and no. then dies. Yeah, it then dies. Tumbles to a glacial prison. Oh, oh, wait, no. Good timing on that ward to actually disappear as Rock is already going aggressive. Has the World Ender available if he wants a little bit extra speed. Hollow isn't even going to try it. Mm -hmm. Backs off uh, as uh, Chase is also positioning up the river, but they can't do a whole lot here. Rock's uh, first purchase is the Tabby, but oh, looks like they're going for another round. Let's see if they go for the dive. Rock doesn't. Oh, Rock. Okay, doesn't we've seen this flash. before. All right, Rock has done the 1v3, 1v4 under tower. He's traded one for one before. Let's see if he can. Oh. That is not the start you're looking for. Is that the sleep time trouble bubble into the rest of everything else? And, yep, that's a nice clean play actually coming out from HK. Very pretty, very clean coming from Chase. And uh, in exchange, let's see if uh, looks like there's no threat whatsoever on this uh, dragon take. So they'll l gladly, Alpha Esports will gladly take that kill on top in exchange for an early Drake for themselves. And meanwhile, do a priority over bot side. Clean bubble, Opal. Very, very clean. Yeah, Chase. Uh, nicely done here. Uh, it's on par, even. technically. He's walking directly in a diagonal oh, that's line. True. <laughs> Rock <laughs> is like, I, I'm shocked Rock didn't actually go for the ward down because I think if he had that ward, he could have survived. Either way, it's the kill up in top lane for HKA. Uh, Chase needed something, so getting that support, that uh, that assist gold, very needed. He is starting to bleed CS in mid. He's down five waves already before ten minutes. Yep, uh, difficult lane for Chase here against the Vayne matchup. So we'll see whether or not I I'm pretty sure, but we'll see how Holo does to try and relieve pressure, or does he focus more on top side um, to? slow down the future rampaging rock on the Aatrox, which have we've seen, I think, twice already on this pick, who has been shining. Um, but that could be the potential plan. So let allow Chase to just, just as you mentioned, bleed here and focus on 3Z taking off so that he, it's his job to shut down Assassin later on. Um, in the mid game. It's your job. It's Nothing your else job, you can do. <laughs> uh, Assassin's gonna walk over ward. Does he just? He, okay, he doesn't walk past it. Okay. I was <laughs> like, oh, but please don't just walk past it. It happens. I'd okay. Be very angry. There's the swap. All right, Rift Herald started up here. As Alpha have priority, they have five members here. Five members for HK though. Both teams want this fight. Super time trouble bubble oh. is gonna land. Oh, beautiful Woo. flash engage coming out from the Gragas, and the double up completely takes out the Ezreal. 3Z now stuck in the middle of the pit. He has to dash away, and that is going to be a clean take here on the Rift Herald for Alpha. That was beautiful. They even got the right target as well. They got Eminem, so it, that prevents any sort of poke to try and ruin their day while they try to take that right here. I want to see that again. Body slam, cask, perfect, perfect execution. Just look at that beach ball finishing off the kill. Amazing. And they get a ref herald. Uh, Alpha Esports. They've been very clean um, in that execution. Uh, this, is the, this is the forbidden technique. <laughs> Two camps at once. Multi-track drifting. Ah, oh, Kino, that is a bro move. Okay, he can't. Oh, he did get it. Okay, nice. The bro move. The bro move. <laughs> Ultimate duo partner move. Yep, Soak up the damage so you can back. 
It's See not like best. a it's not like a Yumi though. It's oh, just yeah. the Yumi just tags along. And just leaves. Uh, let's see now. Oh, oh, drowsy. Yep, this is what we call a dead vein. Unfor there's nothing Assassin can do without that flash available. And he was at half-half anyway. That's what I expect of this lane if Chase is able to land more bubbles. Yeah, um, it's all about that prediction on where, you know, where Assassin might tumble through as, you know, skill shots a little bit thick. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't even need Holo there, actually. Just there for moral support. Got that solo kill against Assassin in the mid lane. Um, but now we see the lane swap. Yeah, lane swap. That's going to be, oh, uh, yes, the Orn support. Let's take another look. At, yeah, this. I don't know. The tumble. We, I don't think we need to see this again. As Chase just, yep, pops in. Oh, uh, yeah. Once you're that close, even with the tumble. You're that's true. The hitbox is too big. Yeah, that's at half health, by the way. Chase does that. Oof. Easy it goes. Assassin Easy without play. flash. That's what I expect now. Uh, this top lane, though, after Rock got the solo kill, 3C's uh, been able to step up the pressure on this Renekton still. He's gotten himself a decent CS lead. So it looks like Hong Kong Attitude are starting to find little cracks here in Alpha's game plan. Absolutely. And meanwhile, I thought there was going to be a gank coming from Cat Jug. Okay, no bubble. There might be a gank here from Holo. If Assassin follows down, I don't think he will. As Rock continues to clear out that butt wave, try and catch up a little bit on CS. Uh, opting into the cooldown reduction build too, so immediately going into the Warfields. I'm interested to see if he goes for the Kindle Gem, because sometimes you'll see that pop out. Mm -hmm. Or it's a Black Cleaver. It's a weird Black Cleaver build. <laughs> That's all I can say for right now. <laughs> it's a weird I'm still, I'm still not. Yeah, he's already got the Kindle gem, so I expect that. To, uh, not the he's got red crystal, so uh -huh. likely what we'll see. Next dragon is about to spawn. Holo has already sort of positioned himself in this area in the map. They've got a lot of poke uh, for the side of HKA, so they can probably try to scare them away um, by dwindling down their HP, perhaps, or they could just hard engage with either the Orn. But never mind, Alpha Esports has the head start on the dragon. Dragon there for Alpha. True Shop Barrage will cut through and spot them taking it. But it's still going to be their second Drake of the game. And immediately, with nothing to take now on the bot side of the map, they go ahead, rotate that Aatrox to top lane, and restart the process. Yep, back to the uh, swap, or rather, they switched back. And at this point, I think HKA could be a little bit pressured to try something as we see Holo lingering around that area. We see Chase also rotating back at bot as Alpha do have priority on that side in particular. We might see a fight soon. Ooh, Cat Jug spots out this one. That's going to be the retreat for HKA. Rift Herald. Ooh. Flash. Try to protect the eye. Oh, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> no, that did not go the way they, they <laughs> hoped. That was uh, a little bit of an oops. Ah, uh, that's a Rift Herald that you, they'd like to have back. It's fine, though. Yeah, very interesting. Because usually uh, you see the Rift Herald being unleashed topside with the swap. So you fill that all, you funnel that all on your AD carry. Unfortunately, it did not happen because they had to rotate back at bot lane for the next dragon. So the timing was a little bit awkward for that sort of strategy. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Rift Herald is uh, pretty much canceled by HK. So all is good, all is fine. I'm back to the Quave Clear. <laughs> this is, I think, our slow game of the night, Riku. I, I told you. This is, I think I agree with you. Yeah, former LMS versus former LMS. Yeah. So Riku, what was your what was your week like over in, in Bangkok here? Didn't get to see you all week. <laughs> I practically just uh, went out to the mall and once. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's that's all I did. That's all? Yeah. Visited an anime store. That's that's it. Okay. So, that's, yeah. so that is Riku going <laughs> out. <laughs> just doing Riku things. Not hitting on it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't hitting on it. <laughs> How about you? Uh... I was at the studio every day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got my other projects happening here. So. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, it's uh, nothing too interesting. I accidentally ordered the wrong food. I had I tried some new Thai food. That was interesting. I tried a minced pork omelette, and it was not Ooh. what I expected. Meanwhile, though, top lane, here we go, some action. A uh, bit of a scatterbrain play there as uh, both players wanted to get stuns on opposite targets, so they weren't able to layer CC on one. It does allow HKA, though, to go ahead and start up the Rift Herald. Ooh, I wonder who's going to get a first tower. It seems like perhaps it's going to be Atlan in the bottom side of the map. Um, but yeah, HKA managed to bait out a lot of key ults from Alpha Esports and therefore leaves them quite defenseless if ever they do want to proceed with that take. First dragon, or tower rather, Atlan, one caster minion left. Yep, you can survive. You got this. There you go. First tower of the game. It goes over to Atlan on the Misfortune. So able to continue the gold injection into the build. What's going on with Assassin? Assassin has been... Why is not Okay, Assassin's about to go back and buy a full Bork, I expect. Yeah, there it is. And he also gets a dagger. All right, I was wondering. I'm like, why is he only sitting on a vamp and boots <laughs> with 150 CS? Yeah, just yeah. backed. He, he gets himself a decent chunk of gold. Uh, meanwhile, though, we start to see first items come online. There's going to be the Ludens for the Zoe on the side of Chase, so he's going to do a decent chunk of burst damage. Black Cleaver completed here for the Renekton before Rock is able mm -hmm. to get his. That's not the best case scenario for Rock. Meanwhile, we see the uh, 80 carries of Alpha, or 80, well, 80 carries. There are, <laughs> there is two. I mean, I mean, Atlin uh, moves towards the mid lane as Spot has already been opened up by Alpha Esports earlier, which means more control for Alpha towards that dragon portion, dragon part of the map. It will spawn in 30 seconds more or less. We could see another explosive fight as ults are already up for everybody except for the True Shot Barrage, which I absolutely think will be back up just in time. Let's see. We also got Cloud Drake, so there's going to be a lot of ults possibly with. Uh, Cloud Soul. Let's see. Chase Hunting gets a nice little pick off there. Are they able to get much else? No. As the Make It Rain comes out. Assassin, very gutsy pathing. He ends up backing off, I assume. Doesn't have to use his cleanse or flash. Cat Jung is also going to show himself there. Ooh, Another one. Oh, well, yeah. Kino's getting taken low. Atlin may decide to just ult the wave. Oh, yeah. Especially with Rift Herald coming out, but we'll have to see. As there it is. Oh. Rift is going to be there. It does get at least the slam in, but that does open up the dragon now for HKA. It's going to be up to Cat Jug and see if he can actually get over the wall and actually steal this one away. No vision. There he is. He sees it. And he steals it away. Able to lay down the barrels. There you go. Cat Jung able to steal away the Cloud Drake. And now one dragon away from Soul HKA. They're like, yeah, we got position. Never mind. What is up Never with mind. today, Opal, and uh, all of these steals? You have we have too many steals in yeah, one day. Yeah, we've had like, I think, <laughs> four or five objective steals Yeah, today. we it's have. It's nuts. <laughs> oh, baby. And it's so clean, too. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it was just, just body slam in. I think, yeah, he puts down the barrel. Oh, no, it isn't. He just, just steals it. He just, oh, yeah. He just no. outsmites him. <laughs> I that, thought it that was That wasn't even like an early smite from Hollow. Hollow didn't even get the smite. Oh, my. Okay. There we go. Call the Forge God is going to miss out from Atlan. Atlan, very nice on the Kadam, able to push him back. Let's see. He needs to kite a lot more, but unfortunately, he is likely oh. to what? get a... Did they just not see him? Uh, Assassin, there okay. he goes. He gets taken down. I thought, I thought, I really thought Assassin would have survived that as they try to back away. Um, not very sure, but they do secure the kill. 2-1-0 on towards this Renekton, which is going to be really, really scary. Again, 3Z's job is literally just be in Assassin's face, in Atlan's face later on. And it's very apparent. Yeah, Assassin has the cleanse and flash available here. He decides to use it there. Another knockup, though, comes through. And I think he just wanted to save his flash as long as he could. Honestly, yep. he could have flashed. That's true. I think he would have gotten away if he flashed. I don't think there was anyone else from his team, though, so I think that was the main concern he had. If there was someone maybe pathing up, they could have maybe just dissuaded the Renekton from pushing, but... Oh, boy. Both teams. Uh, 
you know, a little hesitant here and there, but mm -hmm. they go back into their push the wave, clear the wave state. Wait, never uh, mind. Never mind, unless Cat Cat Jung, you knew people were there. Okay. Like, you, you saw the Sejuani go in the brush, like, two seconds earlier. Interesting. Interesting indeed. <laughs> with the capital <laughs> int. Is uh, Cat Jung, is that's going to be another <laughs> bullet time. Oh, no. Oh, I'm always scared. Uh, oh. Assassin got caught out. Kino's been pretty late on these uh, Braum shields, unfortunately. Yeah. For him. Let's, uh, yeah. I'm always worried whenever there's a Zoe in the opposite side and then Misfortune decides to bullet time. Like, that, it's just an invitation for, especially towards Chase. Um, but this is going to be 3 Z. Going to be pushing down the side waves. Yep. Y you saw the Zoe, so why, like, that's such a telegraph, like, movement. Yep. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> he was the old very late there, but unfortunately for Kat Chung, he gets taken out. I'm really loving the synergy between Chase and Hollow uh, so far. It's very not giving Alpha Esports any chance whatsoever when they decide to engage somewhere in the map, either from top or even in the mid lane. With that said, these like are like our most LCK teams. Hmm? Uh, like the play style here is just so slow. It is. Like it compared is. to the rest of the PCS. Uh, but, and then you like look at the picks and you're like, oh yes, I'm still in the PCS. <laughs> That's where the good stuff is right here. <laughs> it's Vein so mid. Vein mid. It's amazing. Oh. Let's see. That's going to be the Orin Horn coming out along with the Glacial Prison. Another so much used here, but HKA take him down as Alpha or Nowhere together at this point. I'm not sure what the call was there for Alpha. That's They're so true. spread across the map. Sure, you were setting up for a Cloud Drake, but guess what? That's not coming up for another minute. HKA, they're going to go ahead, get the Baron started. See so time trouble bubble. Bullet time is available, is going to come out. It just separates the team. Eminem takes a decent chunk of damage. Assassin also here looking to maybe clean up a fight if they're able to carries. find it. Double up is there. A decent amount of damage. Double 80 carries. Maybe that's the call here because look at oh. this. They're going to try and get over the wall as best they can. They all flash over. <laughs> Double up is not able to find it. And Assassin and Atlan. You know what? You both had flash up. I say go for that call. I say get in there much earlier because HKA, that was very scary. Yeah, they just, that was very weird because none of the other players from Alpha Esports were nearby. So they would have gotten uh, gotten caught out here as I think they were just trying to set up for Baron or probably try to deward together. Um, but this one though, you're right. It was the perfect opportunity for them to go all in. They do still had Flash. And at least this stopped, this delayed them a little bit. Yeah, and like if you actually look here, Kino actually gets a good Fisher. He ends up knocking up everyone in the back there, so it delays their damage a little low. And like Atlan is just too afraid to step up into the pit, even with like the CC being there. I'm I'm a little disappointed that Assassin and them didn't try and chase that because that would have been cleanup. True, Assassin also had a really nice uh, opportunity for an easy condemn in the Baron pit as well. So probably trying to be safer, oh boy. a little bit more oh, oh, yikes. barrier. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Alpha have become bubble magnets, it seems. Mm -hmm. They have not been able to avoid them. Let's see here. Dragon is going to get started. Where's that Gragas this time? Cat oh, Jug? there. Oh. Uh, okay, that's not what you wanted. Ooh! That's a big uh, boy of damage. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, got a smite. smite. He has to smite because the ignite. Uh. Ooh, almost getting the one shot there from Chase. Uh, yeah. That was... Yeah, this is the time where Chase is just, you got to block for your 80 carries this time. I mean, one shot times for, for Chase here. But right now, Alpha not having a, it's a problem that they get picked off in these awkward situations, which opens up more objectives for HAA, actually gives them more chances. They are in the lead right now. Not a big, sig not a significant lead. Uh, it's still pretty scary. Like Alpha's composition is still pretty scary. Once you bait out important ults from HKA, therefore, once the skill shots are missed, you can probably just try to run over them with damage. That's basically it. Since you do have at least Rock and Cat Jug to try and be your frontline. 
Meanwhile, HK, they're like, yeah, we have Baron now. Mm -hmm. We're just going to play, you know, adult, like, you know, farming simulator at this point. They're just <laughs> farming this out as long as possible. Oh, Kino to the side. He's just going to get tagged by a paddle star. Still a vision. Defensive vision, rather. A HK are just getting a free push in top lane, by the way. True Shot Barrage isn't going to be able to tag anyone. Let's see, though. Does oh. the side of Alpha actually find anything here? They get themselves the Winter's Bite, but there's just no follow-up. And uh -oh. with that, that's going to be Secret Time Trouble Bubble connecting into a Glacial Prison. Let's see here. Ooh. That's Kino getting out to safety. Still some more damage as Alpha really trying to do what they can to prevent this tower from going on oh, down. Oh, Assassin, oh. he wants to go on in, able to find what? the one kill. There it is. Bullet time is there. Assassin trades his life for the support. That's the questionable one. Rock wants to get aggressive, but he can't do anything else. Gets another tag shot. You kind of see what Alpha want to do. Yeah. But Assassin... We're going vein spot right that now. <laughs> that is a couple points there because he ends up tumbling into a three-man team of HK just to pick up a kill. I mean, I understand. Dude. I, I think he got a little bit excited from the damage that he was just dealing against Wing. But at the same time, I don't think it was worth it. Um, you did. The, the problem was is that they don't have that much of wave clear to begin with. So therefore, you lose one. I mean, they started this fight, sort of, because it was Kino that baited out the ult from the Sejuan. It was perfect, because, <laughs> yeah, you didn't have much, uh, you didn't have that game-breaking teamfight ult aside from the Orenhorn there. But, yeah, Assassin was too excited. Yeah, like, I like Assassin's idea. Like, he's, uh, oh, I'm going to pop off. But, what, you, it, like, what are you doing? You just get ignited, you get seen. Easy as that. So they trade one for one. Is that worth for Alpha? We'll have to see later on. Rock wanted to try and get something, but there's no alts left. Yep, that that's what happened. But At least he got to kill the Orn finally. It, he did. That was the whole reason, you know, that Vayne was picked in the in the draft. <laughs> like, we're, it's going to go against the Orn, and then the Orn went bot lane. And he's like, <laughs> oh, we have mind an MF games. already. Double mind games. Mind games too much. Let's see here. This is a rather aggressive position coming out from Alpha. But they don't have 3Z nearby, and he's still waiting, I believe, on the teleport cooldown. It will be up in about uh, 20, 30 seconds. Yep. Cloud Drake in a minute. Alpha could look to secure Soul once again. We'll see. HKA continue to just wave clear and play League of Legends PvE mode. <laughs> and that's exactly what Rock did. They really like the Star Guardian mode, I think. I think that's what they really like. The Star Guardian yeah, mode? Yeah, they, they just get to farm creeps. Oh, I didn't play the Star Guardian mode. What? Though. You didn't? That was I the best <laughs> one. <laughs> Whoa, <t> Riku! Riku! <laughs> what? This is actually like... Okay, we have to go down to like the Singapore office now, and we got to ask them to boot up a game. So I can play. Yes. Yeah. Did you at least play Odyssey mode? Odyssey? Yeah. No, I did not. <laughs> You're I'm so tilted, it's so funny. I'm, I'm leaving this broadcast right now. <laughs> How did you not play Odyssey or Star Guardian? I know. Actually so Star much Guardian's fun. my favorite skin line. And I'm Ex annoyed. Exactly. <laughs> it's treason is what it is. <laughs> oh, well, Opal. I am... I'm, oh, my. <laughs> I'm going to start making Odyssey memes now. <laughs> and Odyssey I was get so it. much fun. You I fought did. giant tentacle monsters. <laughs> you did the exact same thing and start. Okay, maybe the maybe the creep diversity isn't a whole lot. They're oh. still just playing hide and seek, by the way, in the jungle and river. Like I, they stopped moving. <laughs> they, they actually have become like the weeping angels from Doctor Who. They're, you have to see them and see, to actually see whether or not they're going to move. All right, Alpha. They say let's start up the Baron. That's going to ramp up. The Rage Blade Ooh. Dragon was secured on the side here of HKA. Baron down uh -oh. to 6,000 health. Bullet time, able to get some damage. True Shot Barrage comes oh, through, it. but it's Alpha securing the Baron. But they are stuck in the pit. We'll see whether oh. or not they can escape. Decent amount of damage. HKA, they had to back off. Stopwatch for the Croc. He does a nice pose, but unfortunately, he's going to get taken apart as the shutdown goes on over to the Braum. Super Time Trouble Bubble is there. Eminem gets to safety, but Alpha. Alpha are able to claim a Baron buff in exchange for the one cloud. 
That was almost a cleanup, except I think Alpha didn't want too much, didn't want to be greedy too much, which is understandable because, again, you still had Chase, who was actually pretty low. But again, if you move forward like that, I think it was going to, uh, a pursuit would be a little bit more telegraphed and therefore all the skill shots like from Eminem and Chase would have just landed on their faces at that time. So good job securing the Baron for Alpha Esports and as well as eliminating the front line from HKA. Again, all these front lines don't matter, especially if you're going to have the vein on the opposition. So at this point, it's just them shredding away through the, through the front line of HKA. And I'm guessing we're going to be seeing more of those. We've seen this before from Alpha Esports. And it's a 50-50. Sometimes they lose, sometimes they win. That's like the definition of half our teams. In That's the PCF. <laughs> it's a well, actually, except two, for who, HQ. Who said actually? Who? There was a reporter who pretty much said the biggest coin flip team was actually Alpha. It was oh, actually yeah. the duo of Assassin and Kajak. It was a reporter in Southeast Asia, it's somewhere. But they pretty much went, yeah, you know what? It's the most ca coin flip duo, and I don't blame you. <laughs> I actually don't blame you. Because it's either a thousand IQ or I'm watching like a slow death. <laughs> uh, Rock is in the bot lane. He does have the GA. He left GA second on the Aatrox. All right. Alpha, here's the siege. They have the Baron up minions. Chase looking for the paddle star to follow through. Not going to find it. True shot barrage. Able to tag Assassin. Yeah, this is the tricky part about sieging and trying to take advantage of having that Baron buff if you're going to go up against not only an Ezreal, but also Chase on this Zoe. It's going to be very tricky. You're mostly going to be forced out, uh, especially, you know, not going to be on that Enchanter support. You only have the Braum. So it's tricky as well because you bait out the Braum wall and therefore it leaves open for... Oh! Uh, Atlin? Hello? Okay, he walks up and they somehow get away with this. Maybe it was all a bait. Oh. Maybe this was the play. Assassin Kino. able to Kino. keep going. There it is. True Shot Barrage takes out Kino. Oh. I, I got a question. This, this team likes living on their edge. I have never seen a misfortune get so close to the action I and get away with her life at full health. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what happened. And uh, it, I think it was Assassin that cleansed. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. So, so close. Oh. Okay, add cleanse available. That's why. It was the, uh, I forgot what the name was. Was it the support item of uh, Braum, I think? Uh, Crucible? Yeah, Crucible, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It was so the Crucible. It was all planned. Alpha, big <laughs> brain. Uh, Assassin <laughs> is actually really huge now. He's been able to pretty much farm up like a monster mm -hmm. uh, obviously he's got himself he's also going maw too for an extra little bit of magic resist as uh baron buff completed here mm -hmm. i thought the game was not as close as it was but alpha now only have a 2000 gold lead it was the qss my bad i thought uh, there was a okay. crucible no no he doesn't have qss Oh, yes, he, he does. I was looking yeah. at the vein because we have <laughs> a vein in this game. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have like three items completed on the vein. This is going to be scary with cleanse up, by the way. So cleanse was not used at all in the exchange earlier. So Alpha Esports can definitely keep pushing their lead. Yeah, they're pushing their limits is what they're trying to go for here. Uh huh. Rock clears out a control ward. Ah, uh, this still fits the. It's this is so alpha, right? This is so alpha. This Assassin I don't know if you want to call this alpha. <laughs> but this is not how an alpha team plays. Usually, <laughs> the game is done at this point. <laughs> oh, hold on. Condem. Uh, yeah, that's a nice okay. hail of blaze proc comes through, gets the full amount of damage from the silver bolts, and gonna bring the Sejuani down to about two thirds health. No war mongs actually completed yet for Hollow, so he's not actually able to regen a whole lot. As uh, Kino really likes going to sleep. Redemption is there. Uh, there we go. Cloud Drake is secured for Alpha. Now, let's see. HKA on the back foot. It's going to be Rock going in for the engage. Forces out of the flash from Wing. Kino almost gets taken down. True Shot Barrage does not find its target off screen. And there you go. Alpha able to secure a Cloud Dragon. And now look to possibly position for an Elder Drake. If the game goes long enough. It could go long. 
And uh, what I meant to say that this is so alpha is that they really want to try to prolong the game and settle for these um, late game drafts, especially, especially Assassin. Like, I feel feel like he really likes the highlight plays, like the clip plays, yeah, you know? Yeah, he's got to be the star player. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because Alpha's communications, if I recall now, uh, Assassin and Catchung are actually very quiet oh. in their communications. It's actually Kino that's, I believe, the shot caller, the one calling out cooldowns when it comes to summoners. Uh, but Assassin, during the fights, is the one who says, this is the target we have to kill. Nice. Now let's see. Baron started. Scuttle is secured already by HKA, but there we go. Going down low. Denies entrance to the Sejuani. Nicely done there from Alpha. Clean take. HKA have to back off. Beautifully done. Cask uh, timing from Cat Jug, and therefore no a chance for HKA to try and mess up the Baron take. And now it's defense time once again for HKA. Um, with that said, uh, the prison not going to be available for Hollow in just a few seconds, I suppose. But that's going to be back up for the next fight. Um, it's going to be a little bit more trickier once, you know, Assassin has more room for, like, a QSS for later. Um, and the QSS as well of Atlan is up. So, again, very, very tough. <laughs> With Assassin's Cleanse as well. So there's just a lot of barriers to break. Yeah, a lot of barriers, a lot to break through. Meanwhile, Alpha with a Baron buff. Let's crack open the base. Come on now. You guys, it's 36 minutes. You got item leads. Just get in there. You have a vein too. Mess them up. Just get in there. <laughs> Take out the base. Run it down. I, I, I fully believe. I love how Rock is like, this is a very defensive Aatrox build, by the way. He got a second item GA into a Spirit Visage. Just for the regen and for the tankiness, it seems. Makes sense. You do want to... He left. is acting as the front line. Yeah. Because it is an AP-focused Gragas. Says, here we go. Engage comes out from wing. Fisher is there. Oh, Ooh. Glacial Prison. But once again, Atlan has that cleanse. And Assassin takes him down. And there's another one as the inhibitor shall fall. Does Alpha look to end? No, they just back off. Reset three minutes to Elder. Yeah, 30 seconds on the clock, more or less, for wing to respond back into the field and looks like they're trying to bait out someone going out of the gate perhaps let's take a look at that once again holo was primed is in the position to throw a like a sideways prison but everybody else was there so it was wing that initiated the fight was basically trapped oh, just see how fast the vein takes down uh, the arm there it's disgusting at this point uh, of the game meanwhile on live there's a push coming out from alpha doesn't look like they got any kills, but they will Ooh. get that tower. As HKA just have to let this one go. Again, it's all about whether or not 3Z can uh, find the, the opportunity um, to get this lockdown on towards the carries, especially Assassin. But Assassin is huge right now, and the lifesteal is kind of ridiculous already. Um, do have Ignite. Chase is over there. But at this point, it's all about finding that, what do you call this, that precise initiation coming from Holo. Perfect setup for them. Just chain all the damage. Uh, but yeah, it ma does make sense for Rock to go for all of these defensive items. Because you do have enough damage already. I mean, you already have the Bane. R you already have Atlin as well. Oh so yeah, there's so much damage on Alpha's side. Uh-huh. It's uh, it's a not good. It's <laughs> not good, Riku. It's a not good for HK. It's a not good. <laughs> Ninety seconds oh, on they're all day. Starting. Eight, sure, how they uh, will like, just ignore all of that. <laughs> In the end, HK, they're going to be down some crucial ultimates. They get themselves a bubble chase. That is gutsy, my dude. He is able to get back to safety, but Alpha can look to just reposition. It's Elder in a minute. Once Elder's taken, it's it's the nail in the coffin for HKA. Ooh. That's a nice true shot barrage, but still it, there's 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 enough healing on the side of Alpha. They don't have to really worry. Chase. <laughs> oh. I'm so scared for Chase oh, whenever he does Chase. those portal shifts. That was that's what we call scary. <laughs> If I was Chase, I was uh, 
No wonder. Do Shades, you buddy! Why are you going that far? Okay, Chase. There's absolutely no reason to be portaling into the middle of Alpha. Very true. Whew. Probably wants to get, I'm not sure, a Q in, an auto attack in. Um, but now, 13 seconds on the clock, Alpha Esports does have control over this side. So, really nice true shot barrage is coming from Eminem here. He's, he's actually pretty painful. Painful, but is it enough? Especially when your Glacial Prison keeps getting used willy-nilly like this. As it's literally HKA just trying to throw what they oh. can. I was afraid for Atlan because he's he was sort of trying to block the Q. Uh, Atlan, he's got he's got he's got Bloodthirster, so mm -hmm. he's fine. All right, Elder Drake started up here for Alpha Ken. Oh, look at that! Instantly, Rock just brings back the Sejuani. You cannot enter, they say, as the casket is also there. Assassin still fine, and they're gonna shred him on down. You know what time it is? It's the Elder Drake time, as those buffs are just gonna rip apart HKA and put them down. And then it is a double kill and the ace for Alpha. We waited 40 minutes. All it took was the one dragon fight, <laughs> and that is the game in favor of Alpha. Uh, congratulations to Alpha with this really, really brave and spicy draft with Assassin on the Vein. Congratulations. Brave. Add that to the list of things Alpha could be as they're going to go ahead and lock in their victory here as they take... Uh